Training log, January 4th, 2024. Back day. No deadlifts, so we just call it like a bodybuilding back day. I did go heavier. Um, yeah, and then some cardio. Let's get into it. Uh, came in, did a lap pull with a mag grip. That's the ones where instead of holding like this, you kind of hook it like this. Uh, MAG, mag grip, and it's usually a black thing. So anyways, uh, kind of a, not a super wide mag grip, not a super narrow mag grip, so you'd call it a medium grip, mag grip. Uh, I worked up by, I worked all the way up the stack. I, I would uh, move it up two notches each time, um, focusing on the contraction at the bottom. I, I took out the full extension. Normally I'd stretch it all the way out, but it felt better to just kind of keep it on that one spot on my lats and really flex them at the bottom, go almost all the way back up, stop. So I worked up all the way in that stack there to, it's not that heavy, it's 200 pounds, but it's decently heavy. No, no massive swing in from my lower back, so just good strength movement. Um, I think I kept the reps like 10 to 15 and then I slowly came down as I got heavier. I think I got the, the, uh, the last set maybe 10 at 200 pounds and then I dropped to 160 and knocked out another five and then uh, I think I went to 120 and knocked out another five to ten but it, I was pretty tore up so uh, not massive on the drop sets there moved on to a dumbbell row so uh, half my body resting on the bench face down rowing the thing up at myself I use straps to make my life easier try not to get the lower back twisting and pulling it up higher bench so that I did not touch the ground with the dumbbell. Um, started at 50, worked up by 10s. 50 times 10 to 15, 60, 70, 80. By the time I got to 90, I was gonna have to start swinging, swinging it a little bit more. So I kind of just said, let's stop at 90. I think I got eight reps, but with that, I was holding the contraction pretty good at the top. So come to the top, pause for like a second, really contract the back, drop her all the way down. From there, I rolled over to the Easy Curl Preacher Machine. Not a machine, Easy Curl Preacher Bench. Um, I've been doing those Easy Curl underhand rows. So you unrack it, and then you just bend over, kind of like perpendicular to the ground, boom. And then you row it up at your lower back. Not lower back, mid back, I always say lower back. Uh, yeah, so I worked up to, I put a 25 on there, did 10. Put another 25 on each side, did 10. Put another 25 on each side. It was getting heavy to the point where I kind of had to use a little bit of body English to get it up there. So I did what I call a cluster set. So I did five reps. I racked it for 20 seconds. Did another five reps, racked it for 20 seconds. And then this time I did, you know, six, seven reps because I decided it was my last set. And then immediately stripped off a 25 from each side, knocked out a bunch of reps, immediately stripped off another 25, knocked out another bunch of reps. Boom, it's pretty good. Uh, again, I'm uh, not being super aggressive today, moderately heavy, moderately um, moderate reps, not 15, uh, not five, but it, it kind of ended up in the middle there. Sometimes I go 15, by the end I was at five, and then averages out to, you know, eight to 10, let's say. Uh, last thing, I went on to the ISO, isolation machine. It's usually got two arms that go up and down, uh, one on each side, and it can also, some of them pivot in and out. So I did a single arm lat pull, just kind of like crouching on the ground, trying to get a real good stretch. Oh gosh, that's horrible. Real good stretch up and over and then all the way down, really focusing on the lat. Knocked out a bunch of reps on each side. I'd go right side, then I'd go left side, then I'd go to the uh, lat pull down machine and do some like overhead extensions just for uh, a good stretch and a little bit of a pump. Those are always hard to deal with. So from there, taking a break from the running just today. I said, let me give myself a break. I don't feel too beat up or anything, but I just wanted to have like an off day from running. Stair machine, 10 minutes, went hard, sweating, huffing and puffing. At the end, I was almost kind of jogging up the stairs. Not really, because that's that would be really tough to do for a long period of time, but I would have to jog for a couple steps and then walk, and then jog for a couple steps and walk. So the cardio was good, only 10 minutes though. Yeah, so it was a quick day. I went moderately heavy, good pump, no huge strength movements, but all the movements I went a little bit heavier with. Cardio was good just to get off of the running for a day and do some stairs. 
I think stairs are good. We use stairs in, in real life, so it's a great functional movement. And then, yeah, so I'm gonna give it like a solid seven, just a good day. No, no great heavy lifts, no great achievements on the cardio, but I, I just felt good, good pump, and, and uh, we'll head on to the next one. No videos, got stuff to do, lots of people in the gym. So, uh, probably arms tomorrow. See you then.